So how do you actually teach your new Staffordshire Bull Terrier its name? Well, it might seem obvious that of course we need to teach our new Staffy puppy its name, but when you think about it, how do you actually do it? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what we're gonna help you with in today's video. Welcome back to the Femrear Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Staffordshire Bull Terrier and then how you can become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Staffy companions first time round. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and you love this breed as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future staffy video but with all that said and done let's dive into today's video and we're going to be talking about teaching your staffy puppy its name and before we go into how we actually do it there's a theory and a principle that is incredibly important that you're aware of and that you understand when going in to this relationship that you're going to have with your new Staffordshire Bull Terrier and that is that your staffy and all dogs for that matter of fact will never and can never understand the concept that they have a name it's not something that works in the canine mind nothing that we do or we train them can help them understand the concept of having a vocalized verbal inflection word regardless of the language that is the equivalent to their name they simply do not understand it and far many far too many people go into the relationship with their dogs and expect it to be a relationship like you might have with another human and it's incredibly important that we're aware that the dog is a dog how a dog's mind works and how we as high level canine leaders should work and communicate and have that relationship with our dog. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high levels of success so there's some testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching so if the dog can never grasp that it has a name does that mean we shouldn't teach them one absolutely not but what i want you to do is think about when you're with your staffy how is it that you will actually use their name regardless of how you might talk to your friends or family about your dog of course you can refer to the dog with them as their name no problem there but when you're actually communicating with your dog 99 times out of 100 when you use their name it's because you want their attention because you're about to ask them to stop doing something or that you want them to do something in particular so let's take our staffy fred for an example when we're using their name it might be fred stop it might be fred sit fred come fred heel fred down fred place fred at, at stop always we're trying to get their attention and then ask them to do something else or ask them to stop doing what it is that they're doing that is what we use a dog's name for and that is the only thing that we should use a dog's name for so just like how we can utilize our words regardless of a language because a dog has no comprehension of language they simply know that this noise that comes out of our mouth means something for example sit means i want you to display the behavior of putting your bum on the floor brilliant heel means i want you to be on my left hand side walking nicely with me down means i want you to put all your belly on the floor and be lying down it's simply a marker a command or a verbal cue for a desired behavior and teaching a name is no different whatsoever when we're teaching a dog its name what we want is how sit is sit a name means look up to me for guidance and direction that's it stop what you're doing look at me i'm about to ask you to do something else that's all a name is and when we're working and we're having a relationship with our dogs and communicating with our dogs that is when we should use their name it is i'm about to ask you to do something so stop what you're doing now look up at me because i'm about to ask you to do something else if you can understand and grasp that concept you are already 
leagues above most other dog owners that go into these things completely blind and it's just the first hurdle to fall at which is often the recipe for disaster bad behaviors start to stem then they come to me as a canine behaviorist to help fix those problems now i would rather help you guys get it right first time around so that you don't have to go through that heartache or spend a fortune on canine behaviorists to come and fix a problem that could have been easily addressed by simply understanding some basic concepts of how we should communicate with our dogs and how that relationship with our dogs should be so that understood how do we actually teach a dog its name well the principle is actually very simple just like how we teach a dog to sit we use a lure mark and reinforce base procedure we lure them with a bit of food reward you can use lure sticks in my perfect puppy program i think it's much easier just to use a food lure it's something that you'll have accessible and most people understand it much better the dog will follow a lure food lure really easily just because they want the food it can be a bit of dry food bit of meat really doesn't matter we get the dog's attention we can put the food in front of their nose so they're following it and then we bring the food up to our face we don't want to cover our eyes because we're always looking for that eye contact but we bring it up to our face the dog follows the food lure in the hand and is looking up to us when they look up at us we mark that behavior with their name whatever we deem it to be doesn't matter the dog doesn't care they don't understand we're simply linking this name with the behavior of look up to me excellent that's brilliant fantastic dog looks up to you yes good good we've marked it say oh, what was our imaginary staffy's name was it bob dave fred doesn't matter bob the staffy looks up at us we've lured them up they come bob yes good bob good and we drill it we repeat it we put those reps in we practice it in our perfect puppy program we include that in our femoral basic obedience drill that we start with from day one with our puppies and that then forms the foundation of how we teach sit and stay and heal and all the other parts of obedience that are featured in that perfect puppy program but we get their attention but what we need to understand at this stage is you'll very quickly especially with a staffy they're very intelligent dogs so they'll get that concept quite quickly but what they're actually doing is following the lure and just like how once we've taught our dog to sit we want to remove the lure and then eventually we want to remove the reinforcement so we're not bribing our dogs it's simply relationship and communication can get them to do the things that we need them to do we need to do the same thing with teaching and the name so what i like to do is once we've got the right to our nose and we've got that part nailed we start to bring it a little bit away you'll find that your staffy will still follow the food and we need to be patient might take a couple of seconds could take 15 20 seconds but a dog at some point will be confused well i've got so used to if i follow this you say this weird word and then i get the treat what they'll get confused they're looking at the law and then they'll look up at you they'll be and the second you get that eye contact we mark it with their name lots of praise lots of reinforcement again we repeat that and the dog will very quickly learn that that word that marker that verbal cue that we have decided is their name simply means look up to me for guidance and direction we repeat that we slowly remove the lure altogether so that all we need to do is use their name and we get that beautiful piece of eye contact then they can get reinforcement praise food rewards anything that you want to do and then later on down the line we can start to remove those things again all covered in the perfect puppy program you don't have to be there's no kind of rigid time scale drill it i like to do it every single day but again as long as you're putting in the reps putting in the work a breed as smart as a staffy will pick those things up really quickly and you'll have a dog that understands the concept that its name means look up to me for guidance and direction you then layer the other obedience on top of that jobs are good and you're already off to a fantastic start and you can achieve that very 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 early on with your staffy puppy so i hope you found that video useful if you did please hit that thumbs up button it really means a lot to us and helps the channel when you do and subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already that way you'll never miss a future staffy video we've got two staffordshire bull terrier specific videos coming to this channel every single week so you can truly learn everything you could ever dream of knowing about this wonderful breed so i really do hope to see you on the next episode of the femrear staffy show